Well, if you the big whips and you never get sick of nose really clips, then I have got a present for you. It's a video blog from Mr. BQ. Do yourself a favor and tune in to his YouTube. Since I just got this new Honda 450 and I got it all fixed up, I figured I'd give you guys a little walk around and tell you about what I did. And then after that, I'm really hoping it's dry enough that I can go ride. We'll see. You wouldn't think that a C would make that much difference, but, oh wait, it's called a think C. These don't soak in water, and they save over a pound? Can't go wrong. If you've never heard of Darken Sprockets, you should check them out. It's a newer company out of Ohio, and they have a lot of cool colors and designs, and some awesome guys working there. No matter what bike I get, I always try to keep an Encherby's chain guide on it. They're made out of hard plastic, and they got a piece on the bottom that can be replaced if it ever wears down. I've been using Works Connection stuff since probably 2006, and I wouldn't ride without these radiator braces. They've saved me so much money on bends and breaks and cracks. I, I hate whenever my radiators are bent, so I like to keep these on there and keep them straight. The clutch perch is not only easy to adjust, but it also makes the lever pull a little bit smoother and a little bit easier. They make other cool stuff like the axle blocks and the oil filler caps. Probably one of my favorite is the rotating bar clamps. Before I had those, I would wrap Teflon tape around my bars, so if I ever fell down, my lever wouldn't break. I'd just have to slide it back up, so now I don't have to do that. There's a good reason that Yost pipes are used by factory Honda. They're really, really good. From the way they fit on the bike and the quality that they're built with to the way they work on the track, you really can't go wrong. When I used to think of recluse, I would think of woods riding and trail riding but I never really thought about manual clutches. But I ran their torque drive clutch, which is their manual clutch for a few years, and I always had really good luck with it. But in this bike, I've got the Recluse Radius CX auto clutch, and it takes some getting used to. It's a little different riding with it, with the engine brake and being gone and things like that, but I'm really getting used to it, and I'm starting to like it a lot. I honestly can't say enough good things about my Moto Stuff brakes. If there's one thing I won't ride a bike without, it's these brakes. When people want me to teach them how to nose wheelie, I just say, get a set of Moto Stuff brakes. They nose wheelie themselves. Rims Plus is actually a company out of Illinois who builds wheels. They have their own hubs and spokes matched with whatever rim you want. The spokes are anodized instead of powder coated, which is cool because they don't come off. From day one on little bikes, I've always ran Dunlop tires. From riding tracks to riding the ramp to riding trails, it's all done lot. The ODI bars and grips are awesome. I've used them for six or seven years and had really good luck with them. My favorite thing is the ODI grips. They are lock on so you don't have to buy any grip glue and they come with a throttle tube for every set. The new ends are super durable too so it keeps from ripping them out. I got my forks and shock coated down to Precision Works and I've always said if you can't be fast, look fast. And as always, there's nobody else I would trust to valve my suspension besides Jim at Merge Racing. And when that's done, I grab a no-toil filter and some Lucas oil, and I go burn the dirt up. Check it out. These 365MX gloves are even iPhone friendly. It's pretty sick. Even the thumb. 